So, slight explanation needed on this video. When I do a recording, I check all my equipment is working properly and that the sound is right. I make all the conditions the best I can. When you're transmitting with amateur radio as well, things get complicated. And I didn't think at the time that I was pumping the FT8 signals through the same PC that I'm using to record the video on. So sadly, this is what happened. Every time I transmitted, and that happened about 30 times through the video, and I've had to edit it out. So it kind of looks as if the video doesn't make sense. I'm not too bothered about the, the narration of it, because I can work through that. But it looks, when you're watching it, it's going to look like I never actually transmit. Well, it was transmitting, it was transmitting every few minutes and you'll see the edits in the video. So I apologise for that, but you can only have one first time doing something. So I still figure it's worth letting you watch the video. So I apologise for the slightly duff editing on this one, but uh, you take your chances. Thanks for watching. See you soon. So this is the Zegu rig in operation, uh, doing FT8 on 40 metres. And there it goes transmitting. Putting out about 6 watts if we're lucky. And to me FT8 serves a number of purposes. Originally I poo pooed it saying, you know, why do we need this? It's like Morse code. It's just a horrible annoying noise on the wave bands. But there's a lot more to it than that. A few moments later. Okay, okay, so this is WSJTX, which will be familiar to many radio amateurs, even if you've only used it for receiving purposes. This has the ability to receive uh, a, an RF frequency, and then within that RF frequency on the upper side band, we have little sub frequency bands in the audio range. One side is Grid Tracker. And the two programs work very well hand in hand. At the same time, there's also a settings file that we need to set up with your call sign, your radio. This Zigu G1M approximates to an ICOM 7000. So what's happening on the map? Well, I'm in the amber spot here. And so it's GQ4 FKI, somewhere near me. And we can see a guy from London. And he's hitting possibly Finland. By hovering over these people I can see their call signs and what band they're on. We know what band they're on because they're using the same band I'm tuned to. But uh, I've witnessed people and I've had no idea what, how much power they're putting out. But they're going across and they're hitting people. In when the contact is made you'll see a dotted line jump over. In the left hand panel we can see all the different audio subbands and what the activity is on them. So there's my standard CQ message with my uh, Cambridge grid squared in. Uh, because I'm on about 460 hertz, anything that is within 460 hertz here, the receiving transmitter on the same frequency, I'm transmitting on it, and anybody that's also transmitting on it also appears in here. Now I'm not sure why the frequency keeps shifting when it goes to transmit. It's early days for me, as you can tell, on FT8, and I've got a lot to learn. But it's fascinating. It can tell you a lot about your antenna, how much power you need to get into different continents. Don't think anybody's got out of there yet. Asiatic Russia and European Russia. So, with the right equipment, the world can be your oyster. I've certainly seen the people hitting the, uh, the Faroe Islands, I think it was. Don't know. 
Geography is terrible. Not my subject, as we say. Try different bands. I've been trying 20 metres and 40 metres and 15 metres. And I noticed that my antenna was sitting on the fence. There we go. There's some communications going on now. This guy has just zapped all these stations. Which is brilliant. So Belgium, Germany. So when we get some comms. And, you know, despite my initial disappointment, I'm seeing how hard it is for other people to hit a station. So I'm just sticking CQ out all the time. I think when it, it'll recognise my call sign if somebody comes back to me. There we go, my transmitter's just let go. So yeah, I was attempting about yesterday to shout CQ quite a bit using single sideband voice communications and I wasn't getting anywhere and about 40 miles south of me in Leicester and I wasn't hitting them and I wasn't seeing anything on the SDR waterfalls and I thought this is why people use FT8 yay we've got a contact and that's it and it's generated standard messages and it will now go through these messages in sequence giving the guy a signal report, collecting his signal report and I believe it logs. So you've just witnessed my first contact on HF. That's fantastic. I had no idea that that would happen while I was recording. I thought I'd have to set this whole thing up. But the guy's in Scotland. He's hundreds of miles away from me. There we go. Let's have a look where he is. You can't see that. He's in Whitehaven in Cumbria, an area that a friend of mine comes from. So, Nathan, if you happen to be watching my channel, thank you very much for my very first QSO on the bit of wire, absolutely elated. Um, the first step is always the hardest, so I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm going to try some more bands now. But yeah, we get out there. And I believe you can also do this, so let's try this. Send a message to another guy. MQ0USK. MQ, of course, due to Her Majesty. Uh, respect to her. I know I'm not using it in my call sign. Is it? An individual choice. Don't think we hit. We've hit him. So I think we just hit MK. There he is. Uh, Mexico, Quebec, zero USK. M zero USK. Curtis Burke. That he's not telling us where he is, but that's fine. He's got nine awards. Look at him. He's away. Continents of the world. So yeah, I've yet to learn about all this, DXing and contesting. There's room for all these technologies and they open it up to more people. So yeah, they should go through the messages now on each sequence. So again, that's my second contact and I realise it's not that ambitious, but it's the first steps on 40 metres. There it goes again. We're zapping out to him. I don't know what to get me out of. Hopefully this will all be logged and I'll go through it with a fine tooth comb. I'm getting him at plus seven apparently. But we've made the first headway. And it's like half five at night, the condition's not brilliant, it's cloudy. But these are my first HFQSOs. Not the sort of person who logs stuff particularly. But we shall see. It's fascinating stuff. Can't wait to learn more. Just see if he comes back. Hello, we got two echo zero ELA, whoever he is. There's a few UK guys on now. So, in conclusion, FT8 is another useful mode for amateur radio operators. It allows you to check the propagation capabilities on many bands and to log many contacts 
and a short space of time. The conditions are varying by hour on hour and day by day, so it's never going to be the same twice. Once you start looking at other sites that take the older loggings of amateur radio enthusiasts or put them all online, you, you can see just how amazing it is, how many thousands of contacts can be made, how many contests can be uh, contested. Um, it's really interesting, it's taught me a lot about propagation that I wasn't aware of. It's also possible to do it on a very low power. You don't need high power for FT8, Whisper and most of the other digital modes. You will get out. I've yet to experience some really good propagation, but I know it will occur as the winter comes in, especially in the daytime. So I'll be looking into this a lot more as it goes. So I apologise again for the quality of the video editing, it's not to the usual standard. But don't let that stop you from having a go with FT8 and other digital modes. It's going to make some, for some very interesting contacts in the next few months. Hope you like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Zulu Papa 5, Whiskey Bravo Mike from Mike's and Bravo Alpha Alpha. It's a whole different quality. And don't totally depends on temperature and mixture. Are you both really good? I'm going to turn it off now. 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 I'm going to turn it off now.